am Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on fe under featured content on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months to six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent. You get it for one year for save for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now the bottom line, when you get on Basil's page, you are going to see that he has a huge amount of webinars on their page. So you really get to understand how the market moves, how the Chapman wave moves, and yeah, guess what? You get it. You like it at the end of thirty days. Great. You continue getting it. For some reason, it doesn't work for you folks. You can get your money back. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. I guess we're preparing for a big storm coming up this weekend. We I, haven't had a big one like this. We'll uh, see what happens. I know. It's sad because my daughter's coming down Saturday morning, and I just saw this. Oh. Yeah. So it's coming in so Friday night, huh? It's coming in Friday night, and they said that midday Saturday. Yeah, these things change. No, I know, but so i got to get her out of there right now. As soon as I get off, I can see if I can get her on the plane. Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. My it's daughter. Tommy's Just birthday. It's the great. It's February 2nd. And February 1st is oh, the Tommy, year of the tiger. Tommy. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so market-wise, we've, we've had plenty of action. There's yeah, no that's for sure. <laughs> so a couple of things that I wanted to mention here is that, uh, and actually I was going to do something else, but I'll first go to the VIX index to say the VIX index had a huge move yesterday. It went all the way to 38.94. This is the first time really in quite a while we've had a change of it used to be the Fed and the virus that I'd put at the top of these VIX uh, spikes to the upside. This is the first time I'm putting Fed and Russia. The virus may be still there, but I, I just it's there because that's what the market was worrying about. But 38.94 is above the 35.32 high in the volatility index on the 3rd of December. And if you remember, the 1st is when the market had that huge turnaround to the upside. So this is very important just in terms of watching how the spike in the VIX index on a daily basis, how it reverses and what happens within a day or two. Do you get these long wicks to the upside and then the VIX essentially just kind of dissipates and the market is left to move to the upside? It doesn't tell you how big the move is, but it tells you that a, a climactic moment has been achieved. So that's something we're looking at here. And that makes yesterday's low very important and today's retest also very important one of the things that's very important is for in terms of the daily weekly monthly charts is that we've got a week to go and we're looking at whether or not the s p is going to make look here's the s p coming up here the monthly chart leg b with a huge red candle and the big question will be in february Will this be the first opportunity for the S&P to have a monthly off this big red candle to have no new high above 4818.62? And that'll make peak B. And in my big picture, uh, monthly charts in buy modes invariably go to at least a D. So it doesn't tell you how far we could pull back, but it does say there should be higher highs above the 4818.62 high in 2022 so that's important yeah this is cool man okay so yeah it's like it's, we got a reset right yeah you know, it's, it's kind of like a reset but what's really important about this is that the sector rotation that i've been talking to you about for gee months now i think the yesterday's action and today's action says that the whole area of the qqq the the ibd 50 type stocks um they are still struggling. And what's really a focus for me and my subscribers is that now we're looking at how this energy and look at the XLE. We're not in the XLE. We're in a, another uh, um, energy a stock that's acting very well. Look at this. This is a leg B going to a peak B in the daily chart. And as I said, in the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for at least a D. And at the uh, 18th of January, the high was 65.53. 
Today's high is 65.55, so now we've started a leg C. So it says basically what we've done is that the energy crisis, and you can, you think it's a crisis, because you have to talk about it that way, because as long as Russia is involved with oil, I think that it means that you got to keep your eye on the oil contract. This is very important to keep your eye on the on the oil contract. Oh, listen, to you. you know, you get Chevron doing an ABC up, you get Exxon Mobil doing an ABC up. I mean, yeah, correct. You know, you're, you're right. talking big numbers here, man. Yeah, and and, and the, these are really important stocks because they are they are so big, big companies. But what's really important about this is that the XLE has finally broken out in the monthly chart from a declining trend line, and I've been waiting quite some time to see that, and yeah, we, whoops, if I can just get it right there. And now we finally got it. So that, that to me is key because it says that you've now turned the whole area, it's at 65, you've turned the whole area of between 60 and 58 into very strong support. So I needed to see that, I, I needed to see over, the, over these two days, that's yesterday's action and today's action, what's working, and what's not not working, and I think that the the folks who are in those, uh, like the docu signs, I said not necessarily that one, but I'm saying that type of stock might have to wait a little while before they get back on track. It means look at this: American Express comes out with earnings today, it's up 15 points at 173. It was kind of meandering in a rectangle formation for quite a while. All of a sudden. It's acting really well and it's saying the whole area of interest rates is going to be very important. So I like this because on Saturday when I do my overview for my subscribers, probably another long one, I'm going to be looking at areas that subscribers can look at, even if they don't necessarily choose stocks that I, I like. It's the areas that are going to be very important. I'm going to be talking about the VIX index. I'm going to talking about, talk about what should work over the next coming weeks. It's a little hard to go all the way into the spring, but at least for the next couple of weeks. And what seems to be struggling? And I think we're getting such a clear picture now that I need it today to, to, to kind of confirm what I'm looking at. And that's really good. We've raised cash. We're starting to put money to work in special areas. Look at this. You're, you know, I've spoken to you about the DB Agriculture Fund. Uh, it's We're in from 13.77. It's trading right now at 20.22. It keeps making these double tops and wanting to break upside. So this has wheat, soybean, uh, corn, and you know, we, we, you and I have spoken about the aspect of inflation. That sure, inflation, absolutely. Once it, once it picks up its head, right? It's really hard to put it back in the box. Yeah, I mean, you know, it blows my mind, Basil. Is it that, that you know you have very bright people saying you can put it back in the box? It's like, okay, man, it, how? It, it doesn't work. I, listen. When you when you've been through it, folks, I, I guess these people have never been through it because <laughs> you don't put it back in the box. It'll three years from now, yeah, it can be different, okay? But it's not the wages aren't going to go down, the prices aren't going to go down. It's just that you don't get the acceleration up, you know. So, and the raising of prices is also something they need to worry about. Yep. So, so I'm looking listen, at this, folks. Uh, it's very important to come over our page. You just heard what Basil saying because you're going to put out a special video for all your subscribers, right, Basil? Yes, on yeah. Saturday morning. So it's very easy to do, folks. Come over to TFNN. You see it right in the front page. Hit that subscribe button. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. And we look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tommy. Thank you.